This is a 1967 video. They'd probably ban it now with all the political correctness going on. Check this out. Totally hot. I grew up in the early 80s, but I had a teacher who grew up in the 60s, and he said, ah, it's the 60s, when men were men and women were women. <laughs> anyway, I lost my phone last night going to uh, Pizzeria Gusto, downtown Oklahoma City, with a buddy. He drove, and I tell you, I just did not know where I left my phone, and it's very, very frustrating if you've ever lost your phone. So got onto Google Play services, and I didn't realize my phone was linked up to this service. It actually tracks your phone. So I didn't know if I left my phone in his car or downtown or in my house, so I decided I'd ring my phone, ping it. No kidding, check this out. You can do this on this website. Play sound. Here I am hitting it. How about that, huh? And I just turned it off right there. Huh. It's kind of spooky and freaky, you know, Big Brother's watching, and especially Google and all that. And as you can see on the map right there, that's right where the phone is right now. And I'll show you something else here that's really freaky with this service. And there's a lot of other things you can do with this Google Play services, find my phone here. But there's the United States. Now here, that's me sitting in my living room, and that right there is my house. That weird box right there, that is crazy. I mean, literally. I don't know, man. That's, that's some spooky stuff going on here. And so I hit it again. So I decided what I'd do is I'd, if your phone charge was, you know, if you didn't have any battery left on your phone, I mean, will this thing still work is my next question. So I shut my phone down and went through the whole process again. And in a nutshell, can't reach device. it can't find my device. Now, granted, I don't know if it's still pinging or whatever, but I do like the old school way of removing the battery. Here I am just turning it back on. Make sure it still does its thing. And one thing I did do is if you can encrypt your phone, put a security lock on there, that's good too. But uh, you know if an average Joe can figure all this stuff out, can't imagine what they have going on now. I think there's a lot of room for people to abuse technology than to use it properly. So, all right guys, so hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully we all learned something from this video and we'll see you next time. Later.